Ladies and gentlemen, this came out on yourweb.com and HBO is going to be doing a documentary that comes out on December 3rd, 2018 on Sandra Bland. And this story is dated November 24th, 2018. So it's going to uh, be Sandra Bland, say her name, documentary to her which should be interesting. I'm not really a big TV watcher, but in this case, I would definitely watch this. Absolutely. It's been three years. Why? It's hard to believe it's already been three years. Time always goes by fast when you lose people. It's been three years since the death of Sandra Bland, a new HBO documentary, Say Her Name, The Life and death of Sandra Bland. We'll examine her tragic death in depth, revealing previously unknown details. The Boston Globe notes that the best part of the doc is that we get to see her face and hear her words. 28-year-old Sandra Bland, if you all remember, she had just left a job interview when she was stopped down there in Texas. And that traffic stop was on July 10th, 2015. After three days of custody, she was found hanging from a noose in her cell. So we know they're trying to say this was a suicide. We know it was not a suicide. And she was moved to that back cell for a reason. And the reason why she was moved back there is because the surveillance camera did not pick up any activity coming and going from that cell she was in. So it was easy for somebody or people to slip in there and just kill her. Law officials quickly push the narrative that her death was a suicide, but this only sparked allegations of racially motivated police murder and cover-up, per kingsmanmedia.com. Absolutely it did, and I still say they murdered her, along with many other people. She went to Texas for an interview Suicidal people do not try to travel to a whole different state for an interview. That's not what suicidal people do. Say her name, the life and death of Sandra Bland follows the Bland family and legal team from the first weeks after her death as they try to find out what really happened in that jail cell. Um, and that was in Hempstead, Texas. All right, so they have been tracking the story for two years, drawing on key documents, jail footage, and interviews with those closest to the event. Interviewees in the film included Geneva Reed Veal, her mother, sisters, Shante Needham, and Siobhan Bland, and Sharon Cooper. Sheriff Glenn Smith, head of the Waller County PD. Elton Mattis, DA Hempstead, Texas. Trey Duhan, County Judge, Hempstead, Texas, Hannah Bonner, activist and Waller County uh, Minister, and uh, family attorney, Canon Lambert. All right. So this is going to be on HBO Now, HBO Go, HBO On Demand, and partner streaming platforms. So good. I have HBO, so I am going to try to catch this when it's on. 
It's going to be the one of the few times I watch TV. But please tell me what you think, ladies and gentlemen. I leave the link to this article in the description box. You know, Sandra Bland may be gone, but she's definitely not forgotten. Please leave your comment and subscribe. Don't forget to hit on the notification bell and I'll see you on the next video. Peace, family.